Hey, you had a really good question about aggregates. So in Xano, right, we can very easily aggregate uh, a field, but you had a question, what if I have two separate fields in my table uh, and I want to find the total sum of both of those fields combined, right? So here's just a quick uh, dummy data table here I just made very quickly, but let's just jump into uh, an API endpoint where we're querying all our records, right? We have our output. So obviously if we go to um, aggregate here, right? Well, okay, so I can aggregate my amount one field. You know, I can sum that. And, you know, I could do another aggregate and I could do amount two and I could do sum there, right? But that doesn't quite answer your question, right? Because when I run this, well, I have two different sums, right? But what if I want to combine these into sum, how do I do that? So that was a really good question. So I thought I'd create a video here. So what we can do here on our output is we can go to evals uh, to sort of create this new field on the fly. And, you know, first I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna take this back to our list view here so you can see a little more how it will, it looks like. Um, but let's go now here to evals. I'm gonna add a new field and I can start, let's say with amount one, and as, this is just what the field will be called, I'll just call this combo, we'll call it a, our combo field. But if I add a filter here, right, you can see I have this uh, add filter here. In the value, I can actually pull from any of those fields in my table. So I'll select that amount two, right? They will both need to be um, of both integer or decimal type, right? So we can actually add these up. So that will get added to my response here, right? So when I, I run this, right, well, that's great. We see the uh, what the combo field is, right? Five plus one, six plus eight, so on and so forth. Um, but what also happens now is when I go back to change my return type to aggregate, well, you can see if I want to aggregate by that combo field, it's now available. So, you know, we'll call this some combo here, I can go ahead and do my sum aggregator, right? We don't we don't need amount one and amount two here in our response, but we can just uh, plop that in there to see if that all adds up correctly. And so if I run this, you can see, well, okay, amount one, the sum was 43, amount two was 70, and now we get our combo field, uh, which is our 113. So all you need to do is uh, create an eval. You can combine those two fields, right? Maybe with uh, that add filter, if that makes the most sense, and then, that eval field becomes available uh, in the aggregate engine. So you can do aggregates on a combined field like that.